Hello, this is Sunfounder. Today, I'll guide you through assembling the Pyramin V2. All you need to do is to follow the steps to assemble and test. Unbox and lay out all the components found inside. There are the structural parts, the main board, and a variety of accessories. Some parts are bundled together for shipping convenience. Let's separate them first. and name these structural parts like this. First, set up the OLED screen. Lift the black clip on the OLED connector, insert the OLED's FPC cable, and then snap the latch back into place. Now, let's connect the GPIO bridge. Similarly, lift the connector's black latch, insert the FFC cable, then press down several times to ensure a solid connection. Use the same way to connect the other end of the FFC cable to the main board. Affix a piece of black tape to ensure the connection remains secure. Time to connect the SD card bridge. Release the connector, insert the FFC cable, and snap it down to lock. Then, connect the FFC cable's other end to the main board. Connect the RGB strip wires in sequence. On the main board, screw in for sets of nylon standoffs M2.5 by 25 plus 6 on top and M2.5 x18 below. Let's move on to the power button. Remove its thin nut, guiding the button's wire over the button plate. Reattach the nut securing the power button to the button plate. Connect the power switch wires as follows, black to GND, red to 5 volts and both green wires to the adjacent pins. Before mounting the Raspberry Pi, tidy up the wires. Then, screw in the M2.5 by 7 plus 6 standoffs. Now insert the SD card bridge into the card slot of the Raspberry Pi. Then plug in the GPIO bridge. Let's do a quick test to confirm everything's set up correctly. First, load the Raspberry Pi OS onto the SD card. Visit the software section on the Raspberry Pi official website and download the Raspberry Pi imager. Open the imager, select the recommended OS. Then pick your SD card from the list. It's wise to configure your username, password, Wi-Fi settings and locale now. Once you've saved your settings, hit the right button to begin the installation. Insert the now loaded SD card into the main board slot. Prepare a monitor and connect it to the HDMI port of Raspberry Pi. Plug in a 5 volts, 3A power supply and press the power button to start up the Pyramid. If you see the Raspberry Pi desktop, it means everything's powered up correctly. Next, we'll configure the software to ensure all modules function smoothly. Open our online tutorial at pyramanv2.rtfd.io and navigate to the Set up the Pyramin page. Launch a terminal window and enter the provided for commands. To install the Pyramin module, installation can take a bit. Once done, you'll be prompted to restart. Confirm with Y. You should now see key Raspberry Pi info on the OLED screen, with the RGB strip and main board LEDs glowing blue. The fan is set in software to rotate above 50 Celsius temperature, so here we plug it directly into the 5 volts and GND pins on the Raspberry Pi to test it. Let's resume the Pyramin assembly. Take out the tar cooler and attach a structural part to it with a M2.5 by 6 screw. Secure the second structural component similarly.
Then stick the thermal pads in the shape. Finally, mount the assembled tower cooler to the Raspberry Pi with M2.5 by 6 screws. Now peel off the protective film from the acrylic plate, featuring the HDMI interface. Pass the OLED screen through the slot of the button plate. Next, position the acrylic plate appropriately. Secure it using M2.5 by 6 screws, starting with the two in the center. Now is the time to remove the film from the OLED screen and stick it to the button plate. Similarly, remove the RGB strips film and mount it onto the upper plate. Place the upper plate ensuring that it's labeled side aligns with the power button side Finally, lock everything in place using M2.5 by 6 screws. Place the port plate on. And secure it with M2.5 by 6 screws. Take out another large acrylic plate. The side with the reversed pin labels is the back side. We need to attach the fan to this side, with the iSecu label facing outward. Insert an end to 0.5 by 14 screw into the fan hole, and hold it in place with a finger, then flip the assembly over and secure with an M to 0.5 by 12 nut. Use the same method to screw in the other three sets of screws. Lastly, strengthen the assembly using a screwdriver and a cross wrench. Ensure the fan's cable is positioned on the left side, as demonstrated in the video. Now plug the fan cables into the main board in order. After that, secure the USB plate with the M2.5 by 6 screws. Start by screwing in the center screw first. If you have an SSD, you can refer to the later video for guidance on installing it. Now put the bottom plate on, taking care that the notched side is facing the USB port side. Secure it in place using the M2.5 by 6 screws as well. Then stick EVA foam pad on the bottom to prevent slippage.
Lastly, place the acrylic plate over the OLED screen and fasten it using M to 0.5 by 6 screws. Now that the Pyramid assembly is complete, let's take a look at the results after powering it on. If you have a 40-pin Rivian cable, you can insert it into the side slot. If you have an Entisada SSD, you can assemble it as shown below. Take off the bottom plate, Remove the SSD screw and insert the M to SSD before securing it. Finally, secure the bottom plate again. You will need to plug in the USB bridge to power the SSD. If you have a camera module, the assembly tutorial is as follows. The first thing is to take off the acrylic plate. Thread the FFC cable through the slot on the side. After that, Use a screwdriver to pull up the tab of camera connector. Insert the FFC cable and then press it back. Apply 3M adhesive with thickness to affix the camera module in place. Finally, secure the acrylic plate back. The video is over. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe us to get the latest videos or visit www.sunfounder.com to see more information about the product.